Now that you know how to use Mirror Escape, let's show you how to purchase minis, terrain, props, dice, and maps to enhance your experience. Once you've got the application loaded and you're signed in, tap the plus icon on the toolbar in the top right corner of your screen. This opens the inventory and store options. Drag the bar in the center top of your inventory up to fill your screen so we can see more details. Your inventory should come with a few assets that were included free with your application download. This should include a dungeon set, a cavern set, some minis, and a set of dice. To add to your collection, open the store by tapping the shopping cart icon on the left tab bar. The first thing we'll need to do is purchase some R-Coin to spend. Tap the blue R-Coin icon on the upper right and select the quantity you'd like to purchase. Complete the purchase and head back to the store. You should now see your R-Coin balance in the top right of the store. Now browse through the packs, maps, and individual item options to choose which items you'd like to purchase. You can tap the filter icon to the right of the search bar to narrow down your choices. You can tap any asset in the store to get a bigger preview of the item, along with the option to purchase it. Alternatively, you can tap the price in the store and it'll take you directly to the purchase dialog. If you choose to download a map, you will be offered the opportunity to top off and purchase all the assets you need to complete that map. Please note that you will not be charged for any assets that you already own. You only ever have to buy a piece once to use it as many times as you'd like. And remember, for any networked games you initiate for your players, all purchased assets will be shared for free with them during that game. Once new assets are owned, tap your inventory here on the left and you will see your newly purchased assets available to you. If you'd like to open a map that you've downloaded, head over to the Map Manager and tap Purchased on the top right. Once you've loaded it, you can manipulate it or add assets to it as you please. And when you're done, go to the Map Manager and save it. Once it's saved, the updated version will be in the Created section. One feature that has a lot of folks excited is our Hero Forge integration. Any 3D digital Hero Forge mini that you have purchased can easily be used in Mirrorscape. Simply go to HeroForge.com, log into your Hero Forge account, select Account from the top of the page, and go to the Personal Info tab. In here, you will see an access key. Copy this key. Now, go back to the Mirrorscape app, tap the main menu in the top right, Go to Settings, Other, and tap Login next to HeroForge. Paste your key in this box and click Confirm. Now, when you go back to your inventory, all of your 3D digital HeroForge minis will be available. Please note that any HeroForge STL files will not be available in Mirrorscape. Your purchased HeroForge minis will appear with a blue download button in the bottom right corner. To download them for use, just tap that button. And that's how you use the store and access your Hero Forge account in Mirrorscape. Please make sure you check out all of our other Mirrorscape videos. Thanks and have a great day.